Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and you're watching Cooking Stone. Today is National Chip and Dip Day. And sure, it's some made up holiday like Christmas, but food holidays are a wonderful excuse to binge eat the foods you love, like this boozy pineapple avocado salsa. And what goes better with chips and salsa than a margarita? Okay, who am I kidding? A few margaritas. And beer, <laughs> definitely don't forget the beer. I mean, come on, let's get this party started, shall we? Okay, so let's make the salsa. So you're gonna need the following ingredients. You're gonna need some pineapple, tequila, and avocados. Definitely some limes, and a personal favorite of mine, serrano peppers. Some onion, red onion to be specific, and garlic. Let's begin by cutting up the pineapple into cubes using a small dice. That's about a quarter inch cubes. And now add in the minced red onion. By the way, see the show notes for a full link to this recipe. And don't forget to subscribe because you're gonna want my future recipes. Add in the serrano chili and some cilantro, and definitely the fresh garlic, and finish it off with some amazing fresh lime juice. So we're gonna add the avocado in at the very end, and because it gets mushy, we don't want to over stir it. And this will keep the salsa looking fresh and crisp, kind of like pico de gallo. In fact, you know, it is chip and dip day, so I feel like you're due for a history lesson. Do you know where tortilla chips come from? If you guessed Mexico, well, you'd be wrong. Um, wait, okay, that seems a little bit racist. Just adding a sombrero doesn't... Okay, stop, but you're just making it worse. The answer is Los Angeles. Just pull up the map, okay? It's Southwest LA to be specific. If you're unfamiliar with LA's different neighborhoods... Hey, stop that. You know that's not what I meant. Okay, so that went terribly, terribly wrong. I am so sorry. Let's get back to the tortilla chip. The chip was invented in Los Angeles, not Mexico. It was 1940 something or other, and the El Zarape tortilla factory had just automated. They were the first to actually automate, you know, putting people out of jobs and stuff like that. While the new machinery kicked out tortillas 12 times faster than they were used to, a lot of the tortillas came out misshapen and torn, eventually were discarded. Company president Rebecca Webb Saranza changed everything when she cut up those rejects, fried them, and served them at a party. They were a total hit. El Zarape began selling the chips, and by the 1960s, that was their main business. Okay, so let's go ahead and add in the avocado, and of course the tequila. And one shot for the cook. And I'm gonna serve this up with one of my favorites, which is tortilla chips with fresh lime juice and sea salt. So how did chips and dip even become a thing? Well, you can thank the Lipton Tea Company and some real life madmen for that. During the 50s, Lipton ran an intense ad campaign promoting their French onion dip, and it was a hit. People loved it. It worked, and key parties were never the same. Now, get the hell out of my kitchen. 